guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be piercing my conch piercing i'm going to be piercing my conch i think it's pronounced like conch conch i i don't know i'm going to say conch i know it's probably going to pronounce conch but i'm going to be piercing this little middle section of my ear the conch is located like right here like in this section right here so i'm going to be piercing it today um i have not did a piercing in about a month to three weeks which you know i kind of miss the little piercing pain you know i miss the pain i miss the little zizzle you get from you know just piercing yourself so i'm gonna pierce myself today i actually think this one is gonna hurt because this like cartilage right here is really thick like it's thicker than me like i think I'm going to actually start crying. Like, I'm so scared. But let me get into my, to the tools I'm going to be using today. So, I'm going to be using a 16 gauge needle, the canula needle, or is pronounced cathedral. I don't know, canula, cathedral. I'm going to be using this needle, this type of needle. I love these type of needles. Um, I got my piercing solution. I got a few alcohol pads. And I have the 16 gauge jewelry. I'm gonna be using one of these. These ones are really really hot. It's probably not the best to get these type of jewelry, but you know, I don't got the funds to be buying real gold, even if I can. Sterling safe silver is special. I don't have the funds for that. But I got my alcohol pad. I got a clamp. I'm not sure if I'm gonna really use it, but I got it. Um, I got some gloves. I'm actually gonna use gloves because I was like, if I'm gonna do these at home videos, I might as well just try to be a little safe with it. I got my piercing spray. Oh, it looks like I'm out. I need to get. Oh, oh, it looks like I'm almost out. I actually have not been like taking care of my piercings like literally i've been neglecting my piercings so hopefully these new piercings will make me more motivated to clean my other one because i literally have not put some um saline solution on these on my double helixes in like two weeks so yeah i've really neglected my piercings and i have some tissues just in case that like bleed or anything but yeah let's get started let me clean out the area Okay, now I keep on poking the area. Oh, it really did not hurt. I don't know if it's in all the way. Oh, okay, it's in. Oh, snap, it hurts. Put the needle out and I hope hopefully it's in all the way. Hope it locks loosely. If it's not in, I'm gonna actually pull it in like a glove. I probably did mine at an angle. <laughs> These gloves irritate me, but okay, I took the gloves off. It was irritating. I could not see. It's in, but at the same time, it's not in all the way. Okay, I'm gonna have to like FaceTime myself on my iPad. Uh, no, I don't have to do that. Let me just... Yo, I don't know if it's in all the way. Alright, y'all. So, it's in. I had to, like, take this mirror that I'm using and, like, go check to see if it's in. Because, yeah, it's in. It's in. But it hurts. Uh, it wasn't that... It kind of feels like when I pierced my uh first lobe. Like, I heard the needle going through. It's like, <laughs> I heard it pop, kind of. But I took off the gloves because, like, like I said, it irritates me, like, literally. So now I'm going to try to take, push the piercing through this hole, which always takes forever.
I put the thing through. I'm gonna have to. Okay. Okay, we got it. Uh, that don't look like it's long enough. Ooh, okay. Maybe that's not an eight millimeter. Maybe that's a six. I don't know, but let me wipe all this, like, oh, that's a little bit of blood. It's bleeding a little bit. Let me wipe all of this marker thingies off. Okay, I'm bleeding, like, a little bit. No, I won't. But now let me put, this is a threadless um thing, so I don't I'm not too sure how I'm going to take it out because I usually hear that it's really hard to take these things out. But that's not a problem for me at this stage. I just got to worry about how to put it on. I'll worry about that later. But let me put the thread on. Uh, okay, how do you take <laughs> put the joint on? Okay, there's enough space. There's enough space. But I don't look like an eight millimeter. I look like a six. I don't know if this is on. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yo, uh, it's so pretty. Uh, it's so cute. Like, so cute. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. All right, y'all. So that wasn't the end of the video because the next day I had to take the piercing right up because the piercing was literally eating up at my cartilage. So I made a mistake the first time and I pierced the piercing like way too close to like my outer ridge. I don't know how to explain it, but like my outer, like that outer part of my ear. And like it was the flat back was like poking that part. And like I got a scab on it. You guys will see in the video, but it was literally hurting. So I had to take it out and I waited like a week and then I re-pierced it. So y'all see. Y'all see that little scar? Mm -mm. I had to take it out and, you know, I'm so glad I did. But now you guys will see me re-piercing it again. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so I'm back. And if you notice anything different, I'm not wearing a bonnet today, but if you notice, pay attention. I do have my helix, not my helix, my conch taken out. I had to take it out. This is the reason I had to take it out. So the way the position I pierced it was wrong. And I pierced it like too close to like this part of my ear. So like, I don't know how to explain it. But the little, little jewelry was like bothering this part of my ear. Like, you see, like I poked the whole through this part of my ear and it's supposed to be like through the back of this conch not this see the hole is like where a lobe or a helix is supposed to be but but no that's not right that's wrong i don't know how to explain it but basically i did it wrong and i took it out like a day after and then no I'm gonna redo it because why not um I don't know where I placed the jewelry probably lost it but I got another one I'm sad so I was like you know what let me just do another piercing and make me feel better um this is the jewelry and we're just gonna re-pierce this man but we're gonna do it right this time. Um, this time I want it not to go. Cause y'all see how I did the other one, right? I want it to be in my conch, not my lobe. 
I hope it don't hurt. Let me put some music on. Let me see what I'm feeling. Okay, let me start. And I'm going to be looking in this mirror right here. Like an Emma truck back then. We don't give up back then. I ain't a kid no more. We'll never be those kids again. Oh, yeah, this is the jewelry. It's, it's like a paw. It's cute, but it's like, eh. I like the other one better, but it's whatever. Oh, I don't get copyrighted. I probably have to block these parts out. I'm scared. If only I did it right the first time. Y'all, so I got the thing on, but I don't know if it's like in the right spot. Uh, like I want it to be centered like right in the middle, but I don't think it's right in the middle. Like y'all look at it, right? Look at it from the back. I feel like it's too close to my head. Like, I feel like it's way, way too close to this, like, part of my head. There needs to be some space. The other one was too close to this part. To, like, this part. But I feel like this one is too close to... To my head. And I'm gonna get mad, because... It seems like I can never get this right. Maybe it's not meant to be. Maybe it's just not meant to be. But let me try to put this threadless jewelry on. I don't know why I got the threadless jewelry, but it's on. Ew, no, this thing look ugly. Uh uh. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Like, uh uh. It's so big. Uh uh. I already got another threadless top. Hope you find peace for yourself. New piercing is gonna fill the void. It definitely will fill the void. And now my void is filled. And I'm happy. And I can now be a productive citizen. I hope. This piercing doesn't cause any pain. It most definitely will cause. Bruh. I hope it's not too close to my... I don't know if y'all have seen this. Like, is it too close to my head? There's a little space, but I don't know. Mm. I'll keep y'all updated in the comments if it's too close to my head and it like starts bothering me and i have to take it out i'll take it out but um yeah that's the video i hope you like this piercing probably did out of anger i don't, I don't know but let me do a respect Okay, 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 okay. All of a sudden, everything wants to start breaking. Okay, y'all, so. Okay, y'all, so this was the video. 
this was the video um like comment subscribe you know share all of that give it a thumbs up or thumbs down whatever you're feeling